Are we live? Yes. Hi guys. <laughs> uh, or you want me to hold it? Hold it so I can set up Instagram. Okay, so we just have to figure this out. We are going to do live today and we are trying to do live on Instagram in the same time. So we just have to figure this out. But uh, today live is going to be all about transfers. Uh, as you guys know, I partner up with Rizan with Prima and I've been using their amazing products and today I want to explain to you how to use transfers, when to use transfers. Um, so that's what we are doing today. When you press to go live. Here. Um, we are going to go live here. Okay, here, you just press here and you go live there. And then we have Blue in here and Blue wants to go outside and it's so hot outside. Oh! Blue, <laughs> calm down. Blue, we cannot go outside today. Now, we will go later. So, here. Alright, hold this and set this phone up. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, we just have to figure Blue, this out. Blue, we gotta record, please, <laughs> calm down. Please, be a good boy. Uh, so, hi Instagram. We're doing live today. We're doing the transfers. I'm going to apply a transfer on this uh, little jewelry armor. <coughs> and Blue is mad. That's enough. That's enough. No. So, no. <laughs> here you go. All right. Yeah, it's better if you sit. It's better if I sit. Okay, so let me start this again. Blue, stay here. So we are doing today, I'm applying a little transfer on this beautiful jewelry armor. I painted it already. Um, I primed it, I clean primed, painted it, and now I want to apply a transfer. So I'm going to tell you how I pick transfers uh, and uh, I'm going to show you how to apply them. So here you have, I have few transfers as you guys can see. Today I will be using this one. Um, it's called Burgundy Rose Garden. And uh, I will be using just a part of this transfer. I won't be using a whole transfer because I don't need everything. So as you can see here, we have different one. Uh, they have different designs. And when it comes to transfers, uh, when I pick a transfer, I always grab a color uh, first, which I want to do a piece of furniture. And then I think what will complement that color the best. Like... Uh, there is so many different colors, transfers, purples, red, pink. So I first go with that, like which color, which transfer is going to complement my piece the best. I try to visualize that. Um, I wouldn't put any transfer on any piece of furniture as well. Like I wouldn't put this on mid-century modern piece because I don't see that fit. I'm not telling you what to do. You can do whatever you want. But this is just my um, how I uh, visualize my pieces and how I do them. Uh, I think this transfer will be amazing for bohemian piece, for something bohemian or mid-century modern, something modern, simple. Uh, I will go with transfer like this and not with transfer like this. This is more romantic, uh, girly, uh, soft. So that's about... The modern, I will stick with modern designs. If your piece of furniture is modern, I will stick with modern designs of transfers. And then if you have a big piece of furniture, you can just apply a big transfer and it looks gorgeous every time. Uh, colors that match every transfer is blue, is, sorry, it's black, white, uh, natural wood. You can apply any transfer on that. It's going to match perfect. You don't have to overthink that. Uh, these transfers are very big and you can play with it as, as you want it. You can put half of it. You can put just one piece. Possibilities are endless. How do you approach it when it's like a purple color and it's not white or black? When it's purple color, I try to visualize what will look, what will complement purple color. Because I don't think, in my opinion, I don't want anybody to get mad at me, but I don't think red will complement this 
I don't see it as a complementary. Uh, I don't visualize it as, as something that will fly nice. So when I have a purple piece, I was thinking I will write, I will do either something pink or pur purple. I will try to stay with something that complement the purple color. Like I wouldn't put this transfer on this piece because I don't think the style match and I don't think the color match. So for this, I will try to do something more modern and I will do some nice blending of blue colors around. I've been having this transfer for a long time and I'm still searching for that right piece to put, put this on. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about that uh, because I know a lot of people have problem how to pick a transfer. So try to visualize how that will look and try to go with some uh, colors that complement each other nicely. So every transfer comes. Another thing I wanted to tell you, when you get your transfer, don't open it. Don't open un uh, unless you're ready to use it. Uh, you should keep it closed and in a room uh, con uh, control temperature uh, because that can uh, mess up the quality of transfer. So you don't want it to store in very cold place, freezing cold place or very hot place. And you don't want to open it unless you're ready to use it like I am today. And you get a little stick in it for easier applying. And this transfer comes in three sheets. As you can see here. And another thing I wanted to mention, if you can't visualize and try to put all these flowers in one spot together, then it's better if you stick with transfers like this that are already together. Like everything is already together. It's like a beautiful picture. Everything is gorgeous. You just apply it on your piece. Um, so that's a one piece? That is no, that is six piece. Everything is six piece. But I'm saying. Oh, but it goes together. Got it you. goes together. It's already. This is all over the place. Right. And you have to cut them out. You have to cut them out. You have to play with it. Some people have a hard time doing that. And I understand it can be, you know, not so easy to do. So I suggest if you have a hard time figuring out where to put your all these different pieces of flowers, just stick with this that I already designed for you. So I also want to mention that I'm running two cameras so I won't be able to talk to you guys much because uh, I gotta hold one phone. We, lo we lost one or broke one of our holders. Yeah, we did. So, uh, okay, so I have this, what I will be using today from all this is this part. I'm going to use this part and I'm going to put it here and here, just on the sides. Uh, I wanted to use these big flowers I wanted to use these big flowers uh, and put them in the middle, but I couldn't remove the hardware, the screws are stripped, and I just decided to just go around it and don't stress so much about that and just do something different. There is always uh, a way around it, everything, when you work on furniture. Okay, so I'm going now to cut it. Hi everyone, it's hard for me to chat because I'm yes. just difficult, but I can see some of your messages and put a little... Yep. I want to tell, tell everybody hello, and if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to try as many as I, uh, to answer as many as I can, uh, because maybe I miss something. Okay. I'm going to put this here so I can see your comments and questions. All right, so as I said, I will be using this part here. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, okay, let me show you actually how I got the idea. So I'm open, I will open this. So I want my transfer to be here and here. So I got this. And I put it here. And I think that looks beautiful and I like it. So you want to play with with the designs before you actually cut them and you apply them. You wanna like see how 
things will look. I wanted to show you my first idea was to put these flowers in the middle. But there, I will just save that for something else. So, we are going to cut this one. All right, and we're going to put this on. And when you are also uh, applying transfers, you wanna keep them flat, the papers. All right. So my plan is to get this, cut this in half, and half part is going to go on this side, and the other half is going to go on this side. That's my plan. So I'm going to cut it right here in the middle. Can you put transfers over something wax? I don't suggest that. You want to put your transfer, you can put it on everything actually, you can put it uh, let me explain that. You can put it on, on paint, on paint, painted furniture, and uh, sealed. So first you paint, apply transfer, and then you can put either polyurethane, water-based, or you can apply uh, clear wax. You can put it on bare wood, and then apply, again, top coat on top of the transfer. If you uh, have stained your piece, and it's oil-based stain, then you want to seal it first, and then put a transfer and then seal transfer again. But I don't suggest you put transfer on wax. I tried that and it hurts to stick and it's just not good. So you should remove the wax first and then apply the transfer. It's much better, it will be better, easier for you. Because as I said, I tried that and that didn't work very well for me. So I don't wanna do that ever again. All right. So I just have to see something here. Yeah, like that. Hmm? Okay, I gotta switch to the other side. All right. I don't know if I'm moving so much out of the camera. Uh, no, you're good. All right. I just have to see which one is the extension because as you can see this is not long enough so I need another piece there which will be this right it might be uh mm. behind you in the long one might be that one I have the, I had them last night, but now I don't have it. All right. Is that one? All right. And I'm going to connect that one here. Okay. Okay. So actually I want this one on that side and this one on this side. So what you do now, you peel this. Once you know where your transfer is going, you're just going to peel it. And you are going to position it. The most important part is this part how you position your transfer. If you mess up here, just do it again, because this is super important, right? Yes, just it's important, it. and don't like press it hard. You know, you want to like go light first to make sure your transfer is positioned in the right place. It is. And I'm going to use the stick that I got in 
and I'm going to rub it. Oh, sorry, no sounds. And you're pressing probably the muting it. Is it back now? Okay, so I do that and then I start pulling slowly. And I'm checking if everything had transferred and it has. So you just want to take your time with this. You don't want to rush this. Actually, I find very relaxing this if I'm here by myself and I'm just applying the transfer. I just take my time and enjoy the process. Uh, if your piece is texturized, if you use uh, something for the texture, it's going to go a little slower, but it's still applicable. I apply this on the bare wood and it go on so easily on, on wood. Hold on, I'm gonna get them closer. One second. All right. Shall I wait for you to get closer? I think that's good. Perfect. It's a very hot day in Maine. It's 90 degrees. We're not used to this temperature. Okay, so you see how it's going over here nicely. I'm going to take a razor blade and cut this, but not yet. I'm not ready for that yet. Oh. That's why you go slowly, because some pieces won't be coming off immediately. Yep. It's better to take your time. Look how pretty that is. I already see that so pretty. I think this is perfect combination. This lilac color with this transfer. I even applied the transfer last uh, week on, the, on a hat. And I love that so much. What color is that? Lilac. From what you made it yourself? No, this is from uh, Melange Paint. Mm, nice. Yeah. I will link all the products I'm using today in description once I'm done with this. Uh, so you guys can check it out. I will link the paint as well, which paint I used. Blue is very sad that he cannot go outside at the moment. <laughs> oh, look at those poor babies. No, 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 stay there. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. Okay, no, so look, now I'm going to remove this completely. Before you do that, you want to make sure everything is on there. There you go. There you go. That looks beautiful. We're going to put a little part down here. Now I need to grab a razor blade and cut that. Which I don't know where I put. Tracy loves how you use gold. Thank you so much. I love gold. Actually, I do have a question for you guys. Do you think this piece will look better with gold accent or silver? Uh, let me know what you think because I love lilac with silver. I think that's a beautiful combo. But then again, I love everything with gold. So I have really hard time deciding which way to go. So I'm going to go just here now. And make sure that is in. There we go. Just take your time, don't rush. This one is already going here.
and if you mess up sometimes or you don't connect it good you can fix it with paint and a little brush that's always an option all right go if you open the drawer, you can probably stick it in there better with your Yeah, fingers. I just want to see how this looks when it's closed, you know? Yep. And then, yeah, I will definitely do that. This one doesn't need. Just on the bottom. No, I meant the, uh, that one, yeah. That's not bottom, that's middle. <laughs> <laughs> that is middle okay so I really love how this look you can show them like oh I don't know if YouTube can see I don't think YouTube is seeing very well uh, yeah. I think yeah, YouTube yeah. is seeing just half part I think that's better yeah all right so love this so much I'm gonna go on the other side put the other side Okay. And it's always so good when your transfer, your stencils turn good. That is like always the best uh, feeling when whatever you visualize come to the... Why don't you hold the phone? Let me grab that computer so I can see it because I'll have a better... Here you go. I can have more time to answer people. Here you hold go. Hold this phone just one second. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We're just trying to... This is our first time doing a live on Instagram and YouTube in the same time. So we're trying to figure out everything. We will get better at this, I promise. Here you go. I just need my stick. All right. So we are going now with this too. And it's the same process. You peel it and you stick it and then you rub it. Actually, I have to go a little this way. I'm sorry. It's very hard to position myself and not hide, not being from the camera. All right. Let's do this one. So you wanna go all the way to the end of the door. You see, my drawer are not lined up. There we go. That looks perfect. I love this so much. And we're going to do the same. Rub it in. This one went a little outside, but that's fine. And I always start from the one side. You can start from the bottom or top. And I... Blue, don't eat my transfer. <laughs> blue. Do not eat the transfer, Hi, Blue. blue. <laughs> no, no, don't go there. Oh, boy. No, Blue, you, got, you can't do that. We need that for the video. Blue is in that no, stage no, no, no. that he off, eats back everything. Back off, back off. You can't go over the transfers. He wants to walk over the transfer. He wants to eat the transfer. Blue, don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, let's go to bed. Why don't you go to bed? Why don't you go to bed? Come on. That's a good boy. He's not interested in laying down. No, he's interested in eating everything. <laughs> he is.
I love to take my time. Maybe you can Look, see that. Look, I wanted that. to show him, like, when you miss a spot there, it was, like... What? It was coming off. No, I on purpose took that no, off. No, no, here. But it's fine, it's fine. They can see. See, I'm missing a spot there. Yeah. Should just go back in there. This one is hard because it's on the between the drawers. Back over. Very nice and easy. And that's it. You're done with that side as well. And then you cut it again. I'm going to open this. There we go. I think adding transfers to your furniture is a great way to adding some character to the pieces. Um, you know, it's it just you can take your furniture to another level, definitely, for sure. So I love and I have fun every time I apply some transfer. Blue. Blue bad. is doing whatever he wants He's to do. He's doing something bad. I can just Blue, hear Blue, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. You're just going there. Fix that. I love to protect my transfers with clear wax the best. I just love that. Uh, but polyure uh, polyurethane, uh, water-based polyurethane is fine as well. And I even apply Danish oil, and I was so nervous. I applied Danish oil over transfer, and it was just fine. So pretty much everything you've used has worked. So far. has worked so far. But I only use water-based polyurethane, clear wax, and Danish oil. Those are three things that I used, and it was just fine. So um, let's see what we have left these two transfers now I need to finish the bottom here and look how that looks so cute it takes furniture to the next level like so easy and and you know and you have so many leftovers I can do like one more project like one bigger it depends. project if it's like this you can do plenty more yeah it depends how big is your piece if how many use you know I can keep on going I can now put this transfer all around but I don't want to I don't like to put it too much everywhere like I like to focus on either front on the, of the drawers or sides I don't know I like to just focus um, like like this I just want this to be center of attention the front and then I'm going to put some molding up here and here and do some uh, silver or gold which i never heard did anybody suggested what they would like to see well, gold or si reading. gold or silver would i would like to see gold or silver on this piece what do you guys think i should do gold or silver it's so, such a tough call i think lilac looks amazing with silver but i love gold Let's see. Mm, wow, it looks like silver so far. Silver? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much silver. Hi everyone, I haven't been able to read the chat, but hi. Thank you all for being here. Yeah, thank you guys for being here today with us. On this. And thank you for that link, link uh, Dana. How are you? Yeah, silver is pretty much beaten. Then silver it is, guys. Are yeah. Are we going to finish this tomorrow on live? Yeah, we are going to do another live. I'm going to do uh, 
a little bit. Same time? Yes, same time, same place. Tomorrow I will be stand. making uh, molds out of this border lace. This is from CC uh, collection from Rizan with Prima. I will be applying using this molding material and making molds and applying them there and I will be uh, making them silver. So if you want to see that, join us tomorrow at oh, noon. Someone asked on Instagram the name of this transfer? The name of the transfer we're using is where is the box? <laughs> Blue burgundy. Right it's Burgundy Rose Garden. Burgundy Rose Garden. Yes, that's correct. And I want to show you how I connect the transfers now. Some people have a hard time connecting the two transfers. So I want to show you how I do that. So this can be a little tricky sometimes. And that's when you want to pay attention the most when you're connecting to, to design, to transfers. It's, our dogs are... Uh, Guys, let's go to bed. Let's fighting, go. I'm pretty sure. Let's go. Blue is playing, Leia is not. Come on, guys. So when you're connecting two transfers, it's better to go a little bit in than to have a gap. If you get a gap, don't worry. Just go over with some paint and fill that gap up. It, I've done that as well. It's not big of a deal. Nobody will ever notice or know. But if it drives you uh, crazy and you don't like to see that, just go with some uh, paint, touch it up, and that will be just fine. So... Oh my god, come on guys, look. This is what's going on right beneath the Yeah, they're like uh, play fighting. Hey, let's go to bed. Come on, we're almost done. We can be good. We can be good boys and girls. We can be good. second Instagram blue Lou, you're such a good boy there we go. blue Lou likes everything he's just in a playful mood it's kind of early there we go I'm going to do the same on the other side. Blue, Lou, what you doing? Can I work? Am I? Oh my goodness. Sometimes it gets so hard in here to work with Blue. He will, won't let you work. Blue, Lou. No, 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 no. Go. Go. I have to go. I'm sorry. We'll play after. Blue. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go to bed. Come on. Be a good boy. And this is the connection here. So I'm going to cut that. All right. And I also think the green on the... the the flowers complement the felt inside, which was in amazing shape, and I didn't want to do anything with it. I actually clean it. I'm going to make this silver as well. Since we're going with silver, I'm going to gild that. And you guys will see. I'm going to have some more fun with this. Is this how it's connected? Yeah. Is that the right piece? I hope so. I need the, my stick. Thank you. Yeah, it's right this. Uh, and sometimes I don't, don't do it correct. Carlos knows. 
<laughs> Sometimes I don't do. I make mistakes as well. I make me. I make mistakes all the time. It's just overcoming those mistakes and carrying on, as we saw in Carlos' video last Friday. He overcome all mistakes he did. So as I said in the beginning, temp temperature where you keep your transfers is very important if you want them to last a long time. Don't open them when you get them, don't look at them, look at them when you're ready to, uh, to do the project and keep them in a temperature, room temperature, and you will be just fine. And then we're going to put that under, and I think this is so pretty, there we go. And we close it. This one has to be better. There we go. So imagine this is going to be silver. Silver, we're going to put some decor here. I think this is so lovely and so cute. So I want to move over here. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, one more time. So here is the piece. This is how Look it how looks. How much leftover there is? Yes, we have a lot of leftovers. Show them for you too. Yeah, let me show it to you guys. This is leftover, and this one. And I'm going to show you what I do with them. You just put them back together. Put them back together. Roll them up carefully because now you can be open. Put them back in the box, in the roll that they came from. Here. And you're done. And you can do one more or two more project, depends on uh, how big is your project. So that will be it for today. This was a little demonstration of uh, how to apply transfers and I told you some things about transfers. I hope this make you this make your job easier in the future. So we'll be back tomorrow at noon. To what will we be doing tomorrow? One more time. Tomorrow we're doing moldings. We're creating moldings. This molding and this molding material and we're going to apply it. I'm going to show you how to use Gorilla Glue to apply it on and we'll be using silver gilding wax to gild the piece and that will be it. Thank you for being here and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye everybody. Bye I everybody. Know how to turn off the light on Instagram. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see here.